All right, a few years back, I did an interview with a guy by the name of Rob Jones. Now, Rob Jones was a uh, military guy, and he was uh, deployed, I think, to perhaps Afghanistan or Iraq, and he was in a uh, bomb uh, incident, and he lost both his legs, uh, both legs above the knee. He was a bilateral amputee above the knee. And what Rob ended up doing after that was he, uh, you know, recovered from that, uh, made the U.S. Olympic, uh, Paralympic team as a, as a rower, competed in the Olympics, uh, went on to ride a bicycle from one end of the United States to the other, again with prosthetic legs, and then he went on to run 30 marathons uh, in 30 days. So a really amazing thing. And, and, and why do I <laughs> uh, bring this up? Well, you know, the reason I'm bringing this up is I'm curious as to, you know, many people who have, you know, subscribe to my channel or follow me on various forms of social media will tell me you know I, hey man I watched your stuff for two years three years and I finally I finally took the plunge and you know changed my diet and it's made such a big difference in my life and I'm so help I'm so much healthier and so happy and so thankful thank you for what you do and so I'm wondering you know you know I, I don't know you know thousands of people may watch this video and you know some of them already you know made the decision that, that I'm tired of being sick and many are just watching it and still sitting there and still sick and they can't bring themselves to make the change. And, you know, what I'd like you to do, and I like the this is kind of a participation sort of project here, if, if you will, um, just in the comments, put what's keeping you from doing it. What is keeping you from making that change? You know, what is that obstacle? Or you can call it an excuse or whatever. What is, what is, what is preventing you? And it may be very, you know, I don't I can't afford it, I don't have the time, or, you know, we, you know we've all heard some of those things. Put down the, the excuse that you, or the obstacle that you feel is preventing you from eating better and, and maybe becoming more active. Just listen in the comments. And then for those that have gone through that and had that exact same obstacle or excuse prior to, and were, over to, were able to overcome that, just you know, comment next to it. Say, hey man, this, this is the same sort of deal I had and this is what I did to overcome that. You know, and I think we can you know, use this as a kind of a <laughs> team building exercise, if you will, to uh, pick each other up because, uh, you know, like I said, it, this doesn't get better, uh, you know, until a massive amount of people decide that we're done. We're tired of that. We're not going to continue to be dependent on a system that just chews us up and spits us out and uses us uh, as a form of profit. Um, you know, and, and you got to unplug, you know, unplug yourself from the matrix, if you will, if you like that terminology, but it starts with what you feed yourself. It really does. And it, it, may seem, it may seem like that doesn't make a big deal, but I can tell you, uh, and again, you know, you people that have managed to unplug yourself, you can probably comment on how changing your diet has had a profound effect on all aspects of your life, you know, in, in many, many ways. And I think this is a really important thing. Um, I am, if you guys are watching this, I am, you know, probably uploading this from the airport in New York. I'm trying to do this ahead of time so I can stay on schedule, so to speak. But anyway, I hope you guys will uh, be honest about this. Be honest about what is a, what is a real, um, uh, real reason that you you can't get healthy for whatever reason it is. It's something something maybe you just don't want to. Hey, I mean, that's legit. Hey, I just don't feel like it. Okay, you know, fine. But you know, uh, hopefully, it won't take you know uh, some tragedy to to convince you to. You know, do oh I, I got diagnosed with cancer, or oh I, I you know I got diagnosed with diabetes, or you know ulcerative colitis, or something like that. Before you decide to make that change, because it's far better to prevent and and, and to avoid this than to deal with it afterwards. Because sometimes you just can't recover from that stuff, and even the best interventions, you still can't fully recover from that, or, or you you know, maybe 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 you don't recover at all. So I'm hoping this provide some level of, of thought and inspiration. And, uh, you know, like I said, if we're going to, you know, change, change the way things are, it starts with you, with something that you can do, that, that only you can do. Uh, and you can't, you know, like I said, I, my good friend, Greg Anderson, you know, no one's coming to save you guys. And so it's on you. All right, guys, let me know what you think. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. And I should probably next video I'll upload, I'll probably be from France. So you guys take care.